Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Delete. Obsolete. Matt. Woken, broken, hearty. Happy. Delete. To you. And that's the way we start today's show, folks. And oh, that's a lot better. I just can't put these over my ear. Then, it's, then it gets like freaky, freaky sounding. So yeah, I'm kind of wearing them off my ear, so I don't hear like double. But I'm here. My name is I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. See, I have to get that new thing because I can't stretch as far. Machine gun, Carl Anderson <laughs> shirt. So you know it's time for one thing, folks, and that's time to do a little quick raw recap. Raw was fun again. Um, the 23rd. Oh, yeah, that is today. Today was the deleted one. Vessels. Birthday. So again, my little shout out to, to Matt Hardy. Thank you, sir, for your years of entertainment. And you deserve a birthday day off, I guess. Just like any one of us. You always feel weird. Back there, we have the wall of the door of wrestling, which has to be added onto it. But it's time to talk about some Raw. Um, I'm going to get right to this because I skipped going to the gym earlier today. Because I wanted to get work done. I was just feeling lazy. I just wanted to nap, actually. I wanted to nap and, and, and chill with my kitty cat. Because she's fuzzy and stuff. And then I had to get some work done. So I have... Oh, wow. I still have two days. I like that. I like being lazy. So I'd rather get it done now than have to wait the last minute. People misunderstand lazy people so often. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about how The Fiend and Seth Rollins recaps Monday Night Raw every day. And it's getting good. It's getting predictable, though. I liked it when I'm like, is he going to show up? Is he not going to show up? What, what's what's going to happen? But uh, they said that The Fiend was actually coming today. So, and, and you know, it's like, oh, I have to save the whole show now. Well, besides doing this show. Um, the crowd just wants to fiend. Braun comes out instead. Braun challenges Seth to, I guess, a rematch. I don't know, whatever. And then we have the Viking Raiders taking on the club. And this is the first match. This was actually pretty quick into the, into the card, too. So it was good like that. Um, very heavy striking, near brawl-like. I think... They actually could have done a lot better job if they were in New Japan Pro Wrestling. This just seemed to lack something. It seems to be kind of slow in plotting. When you have these two teams in a WWE style, that's not bad. So Ivar is pretty big, though. Again, it was big man versus big man wrestling style, which is what you kind of expect. Ivar is pretty cool. He did that uh, Ric Flair style over the top rope. Thing. And he did the fun splash, which is always fun to see the crossbody. And then poor AJ, he gets tossed from the ring and he just got tossed from the ring. The ref said, you're out of here. I guess because AJ got kicked. He was a distraction, who knows. Uh, then uh, Cedric jumps AJ in the back. Cedric's turning heel, that's not good. I'll fix this that court a little bit. Let's stretch back a little bit. It feels weird because it's Camera's not necessarily centered. I do like to show off my Carl Anderson shirt. It was a good match. Again, poor Carl Anderson. He always gets speed up. And always eats the pin, too. I'm getting used to this. There we go. Yeah, right there. That's the sweet spot. Because I think I'm talking too loud, so it's going to come over really loud on YouTube. So the Viking Raiders went over. Eh, a good match. A cheeseburger match. Then there was a Robert Root interview in the back. And just kind of a bunch of interviews to fill in some time. They were pretty quick, though. The next match. Wow. Oh, they had a Becky Lynch interview. 
It was Becky Lynch. Rusev versus EC3 just kind of showed up on the screen then. E C three me. So you can't see EC three. Um, Rusev, we want Lana. We want Lana. I don't even think there were any Rusev Day chants. They just want Lana. Of course, Rusev is the father, or supposedly. I don't know. We'll see. I want to see Maury Povich come on. And Maury does that. I think Jerry Springer used to too. I'm digging deep into trash TV memory. I think the first one to do it was Morton Dowie Jr. That's a long time ago. They they were they saw I was like smoking on TV. Then it was Geraldo Rivera. Jerry Springer was just a trash show. Although I did have one friend got, who got on the Jerry Springer show. And I guess Maury is the who's your daddy person? I don't know. Um, Rusev, for the most part, I, I thought I had all that filler because Rusev tosses around EC3. Uh, it's a squash match. EC3, again, you, you can't see him anymore. Squash match. Puts him in uh, Machka kick. Accolade. EC3, like, taps out. He's like, get me out of here. And I don't know. They, they just, they haven't done anything with EC3. He was okay in NXT. Really good in TNA, though. And it's like, the talent just doesn't disappear. But, oh well, it was a can of soup. Then we have Nikki Cross versus Sasha Banks. This was a pretty good match. They haven't much a lot of time, though, for some reason. I'm still having issues centering myself. One day I'll get myself pre-production stuff. Yeah, right. But this was a fun match. I mean, Nikki just wants to fight everyone. Nikki, Nikki Cross doesn't care. Crazy Nikki is best Nikki. Uh, Sasha's definitely the heel. She she kind of rolls out of the ring a lot. She wants to slow down the pace. She wants to tranquilo. Uh, eventually, again, yeah, Nikki, Nikki has a new wrestling move, the arm drag. Oh, he's nice to see. Uh, she was so limited before just the brawling and like flashes and like using her body as a weapon. So, so, so now she's going to wrestle. Wrestle, wrestle. Always a good thing. And then, oh. Uh, Nikki Cross got put into a straight jacket choke by Sasha Banks. And she started to butt bump her way out of the straight jacket choke. And it was funny. And I'm going to mention another uh, web page. Maybe I should. Well, I'll, 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 I'll ask forgiveness later. But. If you check out Fight Perfect, that's actually a pretty entertaining show about MMA and how two guys who actually train in MMA and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, view these internet videos and pro wrestling, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll just ask them for for forgiveness. Please, please, please don't. White belt choked me out. But they uh, she did that butt bump. Which they showed. The only reason I remember it because they showed a woman's self defense video and it mentioned the butt bump to get out of a bear hug and they're trying it and it's just like not working. So, again, a quick little shout out to Fight Perfect Boom, son. And I don't know. I'll ask forgiveness later. But and then there was Oh yeah, Sasha Banks learned to step over told from someone too. But Nikki's just awesome. Nikki's awesome because she was wearing green granny panties underneath her pants. Oh wow, Kevin Dunn. Thank you very much, sir. 
you make my life so much more entertaining. Uh, eventually, Bailey gets involved. And, of course, that's enough to distract Nikki Cross because Nikki Cross hit the swing nut breaker. Bailey gets knocked out for troubles. And then Sasha Banks eventually puts the bank statement on to poor Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross taps out. And Alexa comes in for her trouble. She gets put into the bank statement, too. Bailey's just kind of beat up. So... Uh, that was a fun match, though. It was a cheeseburger match. Why are these matches with Sasha Banks... Oh, that's right, I left the window open. Why do these matches with Sasha Banks feel so long? I don't know. But then it was the Street Profits backstage. Oh, and another! Congratulations, Miz! On the birth of his second daughter. And congratulations all around. Then we had Lacey Evans taking on Ember Moon. Ember looks snug. A snug Ember's a good Ember. So I'll tell you what. She could probably destroy Lacey Evans. And I mean physically destroy. I'll tell you what. Ember Moon's a perfect fit. Ember Moon's hot. Hot, I tell you. Uh, Lacey Evans, not so hot. But uh, Lacey Evans did bust out a wrecking ball dropkick, which is pretty good. Uh, she wasn't that botchy, but again, this wasn't that much that, that long of a match. Ember Moon, so athletic. Why is Ember Moon not a woman's champion? Oh, I know there's Bailey and Becky Lynch. Jeez, do something with your women's talent, WWE. I've said it before, I'll keep on saying it. Teen uh, Impact does more with their woman's talent than the WWE does. Ember Moon should have been pushed to the moon. Hey. I do for her. Uh, oh, and Lacey Evans has incredible in her butt. Ken, thank you, Kevin Dunn. I might have to make that a thing, a thank you, Kevin Dunn moment. Uh, uh, Ember goes up to try to hit the Eclipse, Lacey Evans gives her the woman's right, a, pit, a punch to the face, and then hits the sharpshooter on her, poor Ember, Ember loses, Lacey Evans wins, I was entertained, Ember moves just really good, this is a cheeseburger match. Then... <sighs> There was uh, Firefly Funhouse, which is pretty cool. Uh, they had the, the Huskus the Pig eating a Seth figure, and he and Ramblin' Rabbit. And I swear we were in caring is caring song, but we're caring, sharing. I forget how it goes. But, you know, that, was, that was pretty fun, though. And then they have the silly picture of Kane. It's like the, the picture, like with like you, you do like the drawn like like the like curly mustache and like devil horns on him. It was kind of funny. And I don't know what happened next. Was that coming back from commercial? It seemed to be that the Lucha House Party were going to take on Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins in a tag match, but our truth was in the ring with Carmella. Carmella rolled up our truth. We were waiting for this. Carmella, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. And all of a sudden, the, <laughs> uh, the, the loser woman's locker room, I think spearheaded by Sarah Logan and Dana Brooke. And there were like other women. And I'm like, who are they? Are they NXT extras? Were they on main event? Were they here for the dark matches? I don't know. I, was like, I didn't know who they were. It wasn't Liv Morgan. I don't think it was, at least. Who else was there? I don't know. Two other women got got airtime, though. So power to them. Carmella's new 24-7 champion after the roll-up. 
So I just don't know what happened with the tag team match. It's different. It's a ham sandwich. Then it was a Sasha and Bailey promo. What that means? Because I have to go to the gym. It's soda time. Then it was King Corbin. Versus Chad Gable, and when we came back from commercial break, this guy Nakamura was cutting a promo with Sami Zayn. I don't know what happened there. Uh, King Corbin's uh, Gable goes after Baron's leg. It's really good. Corbin against the methodical heel, pretty good. He just started. He has a wrong style that wear down. That I'm going to wear you down style. I'm going to put my weight on you. You're going to have to carry me. And I'll tell you what, it's not a fun match though. Gable. He has, he has, the heck's that word? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he is. When he, when he does that technical, when he does his technical college style, he's really good. I mean, he's also fast, though, too. Uh, again, uh, Gable has enough wherewithal. He, he knows Baron's moves. He, he got out of a couple of them a few times. He got dropped, though. I think I tossed again. Poor, poor Chad Gable. He has to, to sell the Baron Corbin, but he's doing a really good job of it. Uh, again, that somersault kick is kind of weird because it's like a somersault Pele kick. It's pretty good. He has Chad Gable though has an amazing German suplex, and I'll tell you what, he might have the best looking moonsault besides Io Shirai. But eventually, Chad got bonked in the head because he had King Corbin in the ankle lock. King Corbin grabbed the scepter and just hit him in the head. So it was a DQ finish, but he cheated. So this is a dusty cheeseburger. Then AJ has a promo, and poor Clarion Anderson is all beat up. He, he could barely. To Sweetum. Then we had our five way elimination match, which was really fun. Featured Rey Mysterio Jr., Ricochet, Robert Roode, AJ Styles, and Shinsuke Nakamura. First of all, Roode just says, You guys can fight. He exits the room. Then it's the classic heels versus face. And then, of course, there's the face. Ray tries to face Ralph and say, I tried. And Ricochet's like, oh no, you did it. Like, I think they had a moment like that in uh Battle Royal with tag teams and the and the and Jimmy tried to eliminate Jay Uso and he's just like, Bro, what are you doing? And like, Ray's like, he's like, I'll tell you what, those two would be so fun to see have a match again. I think they had a match the last time I can remember was in Lucha Underground. It was Prince Puma. Versus Rey Mysterio, and I think it was a, le a loser leaves Lucha Underground, and I know that was the last time we saw Prince Puma in Lucha Underground. Rey stayed, I think, for one more season. Let's see, one against Chavo Guerrero. Yeah, that sounds about right. But that was like the end of Prince Puma because you never saw. He unmasked, but he did it in the shadows. And he just kind of took his mask off, put on the bench, and he walked away with his back to the camera. It was really good and really cinematic. It was, it was good that way. Um, so there was that moment which was kind of fun. Then bodies start just flying again. Right, You put Rey Mysterio and Ricochet in a match, they're just going to fly, fly over the place. And now the heels, again, after the commercial, the heels have the advantage. Uh, Rude starts speeding up person. AJ says, no, it's my turn. And of course, the whole crowd starts to chant TNA, TNA, TNA. Again, when Robert Roode and AJ used to be in Impact slash TNA Wrestling, uh, Robert Roode was part of Beer Money and AJ Styles. He was just AJ Styles. Uh, again, that was. I heard the one spot. It's like, cover. You could hear Ricochet say, cover. And it's like, huh? AJ's confused. 
No chance for Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero gets a chance all over the place, especially whenever Rey Mysterio is there. It was a Tower of Doom, or or or, or the um, oh, what did I call it? The Tower of Beer by Robert Roode. Then we had AJ and Shinsuke face off in the ring. Wrestle Kingdom Nine. It was not. It's getting better. They're teasing it more. They just, I don't know, they're just not allowed to do the stuff they used to. I know eventually somewhere Ricochet gets eliminated. I think after this point, Shinsuke gets eliminated quickly. AJ then follows, so it's Rey Mysterio versus Robert Roode, and I knew Roode wasn't going to win because the, the thing is, this would have been a near Filet Mignon match, but you knew three people had titles already. So two people did not. So if there's a two out of five chance, and if you reduce that down, it's a one, one over two, or 2.5. So it's a little bit more than 55% chance that either person has winning. And that's Steinert math, folks. And then, of course, Robert Root already had a belt. So that took away half of his chances. So he went from 55% to 27.5. And that 27.5 point three Mysterio for now a 82.5% chance to win. Yeah. Well, Steiner math it worked, folks. Uh, Roots can still sell. Uh, right for a while, it looked like he, he was dead after he, he ate a brain, brain bust from AJ. Oh, so good. More people besides AJ should be allowed to do that. But eventually, Rude, he sells so good, sold the 619 like a champ. Frog splash. Ray Mysterio gets the face. Seth Rollins next week for the new season of Raw. But wait, I thought the new season started after WrestleMania. Indeed. They just deleted the previous season. Who knows? But I'll tell you what, that was a fun match. This was a surf and turf match. Then we had the main event. It was Braun Strowman versus Seth Rollins. Man, I, we already saw this like a few weeks ago. So, I don't know. At least when Braun got thrown into the turnbox, he didn't go face first. So that's probably the pedigree, but it wasn't enough. Seth, you have to remember what you did last time. You have to curb stomp him three times. And then you go for the pedigree. And then you go for another curb stomp. So Seth forgot something. <sighs> Seth dies so much, and he sets it up the same way. And then he actually dives outside. He actually jumped outside the ring when Braun was going to do his run around and tackle him. But I don't know, Seth. It's becoming nearly predictable, and that headbutt part was like terrible. And then Seth, Seth botched up the third one because he kind of tripped over the ring. Thankfully, Braun was there to catch him. Like, okay, he screwed up. Like, he's just like slammy. Because it looked like he just caught him anyway. He's like, thanks, slammy. Um, that that was it for that match. The best part of the match, the fiend came out. Yes, yowie wowie. Yowie wowie. Yeah, why? And so the fiend goes after Braun. Gives Braun the mandible claw. Braun wins by DQ. Indeed. And Seth just looks absolutely terrified. He's like screaming and like crying like a little shiznit. Yeah, I can say that on YouTube, I think. And I'll tell you what, it was an, it was an okay match. The fact that the Fiend came out me better. This is a ham sandwich.
And overall, it was a fairly enjoyable Raw. It went really quick. I know that much. How many more pages do I have? Uh oh. So for Impact, I'm going to have to get another notebook for Impact. That's okay. So overall, again, Raw's been pretty good. It's been a cheeseburger of a Raw. The only thing that's somewhat interesting and they teased I want to see Sonya Deville flip Manny Rose the tongue and some HLA. But I don't know. That could be freak A. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'm going to get this video processed, edited and processed, put in my goodies there. I'll see everyone again Tuesday. For SmackDown, then Friday for then Wednesday for NXT. Or does AEW start up? I don't know. I, I honestly forget. I forget if it's this month, the end of this month, or the beginning of next month. I might be wrong too. You never know. I'm I'm just happy half the time that I wake up in the morning. I know where I'm somewhat going. The Friday's impact of the night. Tranquilo. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.